What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we're finally out on the water and uh, I got my kayak and Erica has her kayak. I have a hard plastic kayak, she's got an inflatable kayak. So today we're going to be doing basically a review of what's better and uh, why you should pick one or the other or if you should pick one or the other. So we're going to go over what she has to do to get her inflatable kayak up and going and then we'll do the same with getting mine out of the truck and ready to go onto the water. So stay tuned. We're gonna catch some fish on some spike spinners yes. and uh, we're gonna have a good day. We are. Finally, I got one fish yesterday. Hopefully we get more today. I still have not caught a fish yet this year. So it's She'll coming. do it today. We have a, a nice south-southeast wind and this little area is a west to east opening. So we should be good on wind and uh, get her some fish. Nice. So we gotta go through a process of inflating this bad boy, right? Yes. So I have an Aqua Glide. Um, I bought this last year. Actually, it's called a Chinook 90. <laughs> I bought this last year. Um, I got it on sale, like right before the Rona. And um, I have a Mini Cooper, so I don't have the means of having a bigger kayak. But, um, and I'm also really small, so like to me, like portage would be an issue like if I had a big kayak so this weighs maybe I don't know 20 pounds and it comes in a bag that has straps and I can carry it which is the cool part um, so even if we park far away from wherever we're fishing before I met Polly I would go fishing in like the craziest places and it, I wouldn't be limited I'd be able to like inflate my kayak and have all my stuff with me and um, yeah it worked out really well so this is my life jacket I don't know if other people are like me and don't like big bulky life jackets, but this one's awesome. Um, what was it? It's Onyx is the brand, and it's um, an M16 belt pack. It has like a little cartridge in it that if you inflate it by pulling this bad boy, then it um, needs to be replaced, but I thankfully haven't had to use it yet. So I always have that in my dry bag um, just for safekeeping. This I got at Target for four bucks on clearance. It's a Coleman um, inflator for like, I think it's for um, inflatable mattresses, <laughs> but it was on clearance and um, it's low pressure though. So I always inflate everything with this first because it's fast and then I hand pump the rest because my hand pump is a high pressure um, hand pump. So yeah, um, it has three little sections and um, I'm trying to remember, I haven't done this since last year. <laughs> I think I did the bottom first. I'm gonna just make sure it's like in place good and uh Okay. This is my high pressure pump. This one was expensive, which kind of stunk. Like I thought this was gonna be a cheap thing because I, I, I think I spent 350 on my kayak and um, all in all, I spent it around $500. I have everything I possibly could need. The life jacket, the, um, the pumps and uh, my paddle too and everything. All in all, it was like 500 bucks. So these are the adapters for my pump. The one downside of this is like all three of these valves are not the same size. I don't know why the company would do that. I think it's silly. <laughs> I got this little pump I used the hand pump to do the whole thing and I was like miserable it took me like 20 minutes to do it and I was like already tired my arms were tired and I was like I'm gonna fish right now and I'm already like beat so I luckily found this for like on clearance it was like four dollars and this is the best thing I've had so far for it all right so that was Erica pumping up her inflatable kayak and we'll post however long it took below her videos but this is gonna be me unloading my hard plastic kayak out of my pickup truck I've always owned a pickup truck so 
Never really needed an inflatable kayak like her because I never had a small car, but I've always owned pickup trucks, so I have a hard plastic, and uh, we're gonna take this bad boy out. I have two straps on it hooked up into the front and the back just because of how it's angled right now, but uh, let's, get, let's get to it first. We're gonna take off the first one, the back. So what accessories do you have for this thing? Well, this was my chair. It's held on by two D-rings and some Velcro. It has two rod holders, which is pretty cool. Um, so I didn't have to buy ro separate rod holders. This is for my paddle, which I haven't put together yet. So before I put anything else in here, I just gotta flip it over and put this on. Sometimes this is a pain to get on. I mean, is this a lot more work than a kayak? Yeah, but I don't have the means to have a regular one. So this, uh, this works. So now it'll actually track somewhat. <laughs> it doesn't track like a regular kayak, but I mean, it's for fishing, so it doesn't really matter that much, but. So now I have that. This paddle's awesome, it weighs like nothing. I love this paddle. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got her inflatable already, my hard plastic kayak already. We're gonna head out, we're gonna use some spike spinners, my homemade spike spinners, because this is the time to catch fish on them. They always catch fish. Let's go. Let's go kayaking. <laughs> Here we go. First cast. Nice. First cast on the spike spinner. Cool. Spike spinner, chain pickerel. Very nice. Mwah. Smooch and release. Bye, bud. Another one. A largemouth bass on the spike spinner. Look at that. He wanted that spike spinner. Hungry little boy. All right. Cool. Mwah. Smooch and release. Bye. All right. So what I'm doing here is uh, we got cold weather still. It's uh, 60 something yesterday, 50 something today. Cold nights and uh it's pretty windy but the uh, spike spinner which is what i have here is what i made this is like my favorite bait to throw I i've worked on this for six years and i've caught plenty of fish in this time of weather with this kind of uh conditions but we're currently in a river on long island new york throwing my spike spinners we're working the banks we have a 
current coming in this way right here we're in a channel and we have a south wind which is to my back so it's blowing everything this way so i'm throwing baits towards the shore working them close in the channel where the baits would be pushing in and the wind pushing the baits that way so that's what we're doing here i have a uh, i believe a six foot medium action rod with 10 pound braid on a quantum blue 20 they don't make this anymore uh, you can still find it on ebay most likely but that's what we're tossing we don't have any floral or mono on it's just straight braid no leader and we're casting from the kayak towards the shore there's fish everywhere in this place this is one of my favorite early spring places strictly because of how shallow it is so the water warms up a lot quicker than the deeper lakes and the fish really don't have anywhere to go typically in the winter the fish will go down deep into the deepest part of the lake but this is not even a quarter mile long and it's shallow so there's fish everywhere you want to tell the people anything that they, that you would improve about this kayak um, or a reason not to get it as opposed to a hard plastic no well i mean if you can put a hard plastic kayak on your truck or car then i would have one but if you drive a little car and you want a kayak then it's perfect <laughs> Well, you heard it first from her. If you are able to get a hard plastic kayak into your truck or on your car, then get it. I have two anchors on mine, so I wasn't spinning around when it was windy. She was spinning, but you, you can just solve that by putting the anchor in the front or the back, depending on where you're spinning. But yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, to always have a kayak in your car or your truck, I'm actually thinking about getting one of those. What? I literally drove around my kayak in my trunk non-stop and like if I found a cool spot to fish I would stop I would get out it'd take me 10 minutes to set up and I'd be on the water so it's definitely convenient yes that inflatable one is definitely more convenient than a hard plastic one so if you're looking for convenience and want to get in the water anywhere with whatever vehicle you have I would recommend getting the blow up one so I hope this helps and if you guys have any more questions comment below and uh, we'll answer them the best that we can. Thank you guys for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and what? And have some fun on the water. Nice, <laughs> see you next time.